And we're continuing with Loving Life, All of It, A Walk with Cancer, Compassion, and Consciousness. And we are on Life Lesson 2. I have the choice to choose how to live my life. I am responsible. Journal entry, January 4th, 2011. MRI went well today. It was an unexpected experience to be so completely in myself as the powerful vibration surrounded me. I found myself in communion with each cell and I reassured them that we're all in this together and we're all supporting each other. So just relax and let the vibrations enter in order to get the best images possible. And then let the vibrations pass through. There's no need to hold them. With each day, the vision of this sacred journey becomes clearer. Today's huge insights were all about balance on every level. A personal email response to a friend dated January 9th, 2011. Last night, I selected a phenomenal pattern on the diamond star which illuminated even more deep fear, pain, and protection. I've carried most of my life. Immediately, the awarenesses shifted the energy, and the images were amazing as I pictured my soul light shining through from below my heart, connecting to all the other lights of love that are around me from those who love me creating a river of light out into the universe. It was as if I became a portal for love and light. All I had to do was open the gate and allow it in. By walking this journey on my own terms, I knew it was my responsibility to be fully present within it. I could feel my body calling out for my attention. I could choose to be angry and upset that my body did this to me, or I could choose to listen deeply to what my body was trying to tell me. The previous years of deep introspection, journaling, and utilizing the origins process had brought to my awareness traumas and experiences of my past. And I intuitively knew that many of those old vibrational feelings, thoughts, and beliefs were still in my body. I was also aware that my familiar way of being was to put other people first, to think that I was feeling along with other patterns of behavior that kept me disconnected from feeling what was in my body. I now had the opportunity to develop a new language of communication with my body from a place of loving self-compassion. This deep inner listening required focused attention as my body was changing constantly. With every test, surgery, drug, acupuncture treatment, massage, meal, meditation, my body was changing. Every moment became an opportunity to choose. Am I listening? Am I acting upon what I hear? Am I choosing old patterns of behavior? Am I choosing new actions that lovingly support me in this moment? What feels comfortable? 
Do I listen to what others tell me or feel what my body is saying? Where's the balance between the inside and the outside? All of these questions became part of my moment to moment awareness. The fear, pain, trauma and protection held within my body were not only part of my life experiences, but what I had inherited from my ancestral line, part of my genetic coding. I knew it was my opportunity and responsibility to bring as many unconscious patterns of behavior as possible to conscious awareness. Within this new awareness, I could choose differently, flip the switch and compassionately transform, transform those old vibrational patterns of fear into loving and balanced colors of my rainbow pyramid, rather than allowing them to unconsciously and continually motivate my actions. It sometimes felt like a mammoth task. But when I took it one moment, one choice, one step at a time, the path became much easier to walk. In the quiet time for reflection, if you feel comfortable moving into this experience, close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold for a few moments, then exhale through your mouth slowly. Just repeat that a few times. And when you feel calm and relaxed, allow the word responsible to come forth from within you. How does this word feel to you? And take a few moments to write down your thoughts and your feelings. Put the word responsible. And then allow the phrase, I have the choice to choose how to live my life. Allow that to come forth from within you. And how does this phrase feel for you? And just take a few moments to feel what's awakening. And that completes the Life Lesson 2 chapter. I have the choice to choose how to live my life. I'll see you next time.